One of the most important... One of the most important parts of an iPad setup is also talked about with privacy. So, like notifications that we had earlier in Do Not Disturb, privacy forms a really part, um, important part of moving through this process of correctly setting it up. Now, this sort of relates to the idea that... Um, what information you've got and where you are in the world and how it's tracked and what apps do with your information is controlled by this setting. Um, and Apple have a philosophy of you must ask permission or the app owners or the, divided, the creators must ask permission of the user every time they want to use some sort of personal data from that user um, for any part of their app. So we're going to have a look at this privacy one. And the first one or the most important thing is called location services. Now, Location services is, um, in a simple way, about tracking where you are in the world and that app then customizing what you see based on what's around you um, and what information that they want to send to you being in Perth, Western Australia. So if we have a look at location services, I've got it enabled, um, but there's a whole heap of stuff in here that you can set to not having on or knowing where it is and all that sort of stuff. Now. Apps generally like to know where you are and developers like to know where you are simply because they then get to know where their audience is. So if we have a look at, you know, 7 News here, this app that's got turned off, 7 News would really like to know where I am in the world so that they knew where their user base was. Um, generally, that's kind of what they use that location services for. So they knew that um, if the majority of people were using their app and they were in Perth, Western Australia, they would see that as a market that they could um, lend themselves more to. But it all depends on what you're going to do with location services, and we're going to talk about how it works. So if you have a look on here, camera. So camera has got location services enabled. Now, the reason for that is, from my perspective, is that sometimes um, photos are not just photos today. So in other words, photos are captured all over the world and where you are, and when you're creating different products, it, cr it has what we call metadata, or information that's about where that was taken. So. When I take a photo on my iPad, it'll capture the photo, but it'll also capture where I was, how, um, what time it was, it'll give me a map of where it was, and all those sorts of things, which are great tools for tracking and creating products. Um, Facebook, of course, I've got on here, um, and I've got location services on. Why would I need that on? It's because if I did a status update saying I was with a friend at um, the local winery or at something like that, then I could pinpoint where I am and say, come and, you know, um, come, out, come and have a conversation. Find my friends, same thing. We can go into that a little bit later. But you'll see that there's particular apps that I want to know where I am. Um, certainly I can come through into here and turn off the ones I don't want. You know, maps will need to know where I am because I usually say, use my current location to find a place to there. Um, does pages need to know where I am? Not particularly. Does Photoshop, does QuakeViz? Probably not. There's a whole heap of apps in here that probably don't need to know. But how do I know what's going on? Now, if you have a look inside here, then you'll see that once you've turned them all on, when it's being used is the next important step. So down the bottom, it gives you a great explanation of what the little icons are. So this icon here, all right, this is the icon that's going to appear up in the top right when this app or when Twitter is using my location to send me information or using some sort of information about where I am in the world. So if it's purple, um, then it means that the app is going to recently use my location and why and how is totally up to the app and what permission you've given it. Um, it certainly takes some battery power when you're using location services. And we're gonna, um, there's a whole tutorial on battery power and conserving it. But I'm just gonna say here that if your d device is consistently sending information about where you are in the world and back, then you can't um, be under the illusion that that's not gonna use up a lot of battery power. So please, when you're talking about location services, it's not about necessarily the apps trying to be um, evil or that sort of stuff or tracking where you are in the world for privacy. It's about them customizing content and that for where you are. Um, and certainly some apps can't work like camera and um, iMovie. They both need to know where you are when they're taking it for you so that they can use the functions and the additional functions from inside there um, when you're creating a trailer or a movie. So it will actually ask you to go and turn on the setting if you've turned it off. Privacy settings, um, 
you know, there's a whole heap of other ones in here, like contacts you can share. Um, so in other words, if you wanted, if um, if an app requested to use your contacts list, then it would have to ask you, and you would have to give it permission. Same for calendars. If there was an app that had it wanted to use your calendars, if there were apps that wanted to use your photos, like ScreenJump, iMovie, Wallpaper, say Edmodo, then they must ask you, and you can go back in there and turn them off or on or whatever you need to do. Um, Twitter and Facebook, they must have, um, if they, if I wanted to um, let them have access to that or another app to have access to my Facebook, then it would have to ask me. Um, and this is sort of like the fail-safe check of what's available. So location services, privacy, saying what can have access to your data on your iPad, this is where it's all at.